As we all know, the COVID-19 pandemic has hit so many communities hard across Kettle Lad, and that is especially true on our Indian reservations where poverty already runs high. On the Rosebud Reservation, they have had a series of setbacks, and not just because of COVID. That's why tribal leaders have put out the call for help, and today they got some from some unexpected volunteers. The conditions here on Rosebud are not always ideal, but today is a special day. Volunteers have lined up to help with, among other things, food distributions. Our main ministry is feeding, feeding the hungry. Linda Garrett is the executive director for Tree Life Ministries, a nonprofit relief agency. Its mission suffered a setback this year when it lost its soup kitchen to a fire. Since uh, COVID, I mean, it is, has been serious for our ministry. We have had no revenue, but by the grace of God, our donations have, state, have maintained. Some of those donations arrived today in the form of a check from inmates at the state penitentiary who raised $4,000 through pizza parties. They also donated 200 wooden toys and 200 hats, all handmade by some of the inmates. The children are going to love those toys. They're going to love knowing that those hats and gloves were made especially for them. How exciting. How exciting. There you go. That's what they want to see. They want to see their communities helped. Um, this helps them and helps all of us when we are able to give back to a community. Besides food, tribal members can also stop by and pick up other household items like diapers. That's important to Angelica Steed, who is a single mother of six. It's very a, a good feeling to have someone that will help you out when you need it. Today's donations from the inmates almost brought some of them to tears. Oh my gosh, it means the world, and I'll tell you why. Yes, please. Because these are friends and family that are in those penitentiaries, and when they're giving to us, we know it's us. they know it's us they're giving to. And so we wholeheartedly with a warm heart, a warm handshake are able to, to just say thank you. Thank you so much. And there is another big need on the reservation right now, and that is the ability to stay warm. Tomorrow, we're going to show you how some volunteers are helping out in that cause, and it involves chopping wood, a lot of it.